These are the best robot vacuum cleaners in the market. So in this video, I'll cover two segments of robot vacuum cleaners. The first is robot vacuums with auto emptying bins. The second is robot vacuum cleaners with at a minimum of mapping capability. Now, when you're considering buying a robot vacuum, the first key capability to consider is the suction power. Higher the suction power, better is the cleaning efficiency. And above 2000 suction power is good and enough for most use cases. But if you do have carpet, I do recommend going with a robot vacuum cleaner with a higher suction power. The next thing to consider is the battery capacity and hence the runtime of the robot vacuum in one single run. Higher the battery capacity, higher is the runtime and better is its ability to clean the home without needing to recharge in the middle of a cleaning run. I recommend at least a 3200 mAh battery which gives a runtime of at least 2 hours which is sufficient to clean majority of Indian homes of up to 2000 to 2250 square feet. Although all models of robot vacuum cleaners do recharge and resume from the point they had stopped if they run out of charge, recharging does take over one hour for it to recharge sufficiently to complete the job. The next key aspect to consider is the mapping and navigation technology. Most robot vacuums these days use LIDAR technology which uses a laser or VSLAM which uses a camera. Between the two, LIDAR based robot vacuum cleaners are more accurate in their navigation and don't bump objects too much. And they can operate in low light or no light condition but they are also more expensive. Most robot vacuum cleaners as you can see on the screen are now moving to the LIDAR based technology. Amongst the models compared, only iRobot is still using VSLAM or Gyro. All other brands have mostly LIDAR or both LIDAR and VSLAM. Now based on the technology that is used, LIDAR or VSLAM, the height of the robot vacuum cleaner changes as well. Robot vacuum cleaners that have a LIDAR based navigation have a LIDAR head which increases the overall height of the robot vacuum. Most robot vacuums except the Ecovacs DBOT X1 Omni are under 4 inches. So you will need to be aware of this while purchasing, especially if you have low clearance furnitures like sofas. Talking about cleaning options, all robot vacuum cleaners compared have both vacuuming and mopping. But one thing to remember, in a combo robot vacuum cleaner that do, does both vacuum and mop, mopping is just okay and it is cumbersome to clean the mop and the bin. Talking about vacuuming, in robot vacuums that do not have an auto emptying bin, it is better to get a robot vacuum with a larger bin size. So you don't have to empty the bin every single day. But finally, the amount of dust that is collected and how often you need to clean is based on the amount of dust on your floors. For robot vacuums that do have an auto emptying bin, having a smaller dry bin size is still okay as the dust gets emptied after every single run into the disposable bag in the auto emptying dock. Larger the disposable bag, longer you can go without replacing the bag. Typically, robot vacuums that have a 4 litre bag and above can be replaced once in 60 to 75 days. Amongst the models compared, TP-Link, Ecovax and iLife have the largest disposable bag sizes and iRobot models have the smallest bag size. All the models that have mopping do come with a combo bin. You can do both sweeping and mopping at the same time. In general, the mopping bin is small and may need to be refilled during the run for larger houses. iRobot is the only brand which lifts the mopping pad from the bottom when it encounters a carpet which is useful as otherwise the wet mop gets rubbed against the carpet. Making robot vacuums even more useful is making mopping also hands off. Now in this case the dock will have to carry clean water and a dirty water bin and will have to wash and dry the mop after every run. There are a few models internationally, but in India, only one model, the Ecovacs DBOT X1 Omni has this capability. If you have the budget for it, I highly recommend you to go with a robot vacuum, which does have an auto emptying bin. Now let's talk about the smart capabilities and the mapping. All robot vacuums except for Eureka Forbes have the ability to integrate with Alexa and Google Home. All robots that I have included in the comparison have the ability to create the map of the house. In all cases, multiple maps. If you are cleaning multiple floors, all robot vacuum cleaners compared also support multi-floor maps. The benefit of mapping is that you can schedule different parts of your house at different times of day. You can schedule your cleaning runs. You can have different cleaning modes for different rooms. 
and set no clean zones to. All robot vacuums compared have the ability to recharge and resume as we've spoken before. All these models do require Wi-Fi for operation. Finally, let's talk about the pricing and warranty. For the ones that do have an auto emptying bill, like I've said before, there are many new competitors in the market and many new models in the market. So the pricing of this category, that is the ones with the auto emptying bin, has been trending downwards. So you do get models lower than 40,000 with auto emptying dock, which was not available earlier. There are a few models over 1 lakh as you can see on the screen. But amongst those, I think only the Ecovacs DBOT X1 Omni is worth it as it makes both vacuuming and mopping almost hands-free. Speaking about the warranty, most robot vacuums offer a one-year warranty with the exception of iRobot which offers a two-year warranty. Amongst the brands compared, the service of iRobot and iLife are in general better than the rest of them. Most brands offer service from a few centralized service centers and will offer a free shipping and drop of your product for service during the warranty period. Now that we understand what we have to look for when purchasing robot vacuum cleaners, Let's get to my recommendations for the best robot vacuum cleaners in India. First, let's talk about robot vacuums without the auto cleaning docks or the auto emptying docks but do have mapping ability. My first recommendation is the iLife A11 which is available at a price of about 25,000. It has really good specs of 4000 PA suction power, a 5200 mAh battery, again one of the best and a long 150 minute runtime, which is ideal for cleaning medium to large houses in one single run. It gives you the option of setting multiple maps, has the ability to set no clean zones, no mob zone, and also comes with a remote. It is especially useful if you have elders in your house who are more comfortable starting and stopping the robot using a remote instead of using an app. All in all, a good value for money robot vacuum. My second recommendation is the one that continues from my previous video which is the Xiaomi Robot Vacuum Mop 2 Pro. With one of the largest dry bins of 550ml, it makes cleaning of the bin easier in this segment of robot vacuum cleaners. It also has a long run time of 213 minutes with a 5200mAh battery which are few of the best. It has all the other key specifications essential in this segment of robot vacuum cleaners. My last recommendation in this segment without the auto emptying dock is the Ecovax DBOT N10. This robot vacuum is ideal if you are undecided if you need to buy a robot vacuum with an auto emptying dock or not and if you want an option to extend it later on. It comes with the best suction power of 4300 PA and best run time of 330 minutes in this segment of robot vacuums without an auto emptying bin and is definitely a better option than the Xiaomi Robot Vacuum Mop 2 Pro in terms of specifications, especially when it is available at a lower price, outside of a sale. Now let's come to the category of robot vacuums with an auto emptying dock. I again have three recommendations for you and they are all brand new from the ones that I recommended earlier this year. Like I said before, there are many more models in the market right now and therefore the recommendations have been updated. My top recommendation is the TP-Link model that you see on the screen. This brand has traditionally been more famous for Wi-Fi routers and switches and now makes a range of smart home devices. This robot vacuum is available at a price of about 40,000 and has the best specifications in this category with a 4200 PA suction power, a 5000 mAh battery with a 300 minute runtime which is ideal for medium to large houses. The auto emptying dustbin which is a disposable bag has a capacity of 4 litres and hence it needs replacement only once in 60 to 75 days. The only thing lacking today is no mob zone, but I think this is something that could possibly come in the future with software upgrades like I have seen in some other models before. Overall, one of the best value for money in this segment. My second recommendation is the iLife T10S. At a slightly lower price than the TP-Link, this offers all the essential specs including no mob zones, and the availability of a remote which can be ideal if you have seniors at home. I believe the service network of iLife is slightly better than most other brands in, in the robot vacuum cleaner market. If you are looking for an almost hands-off robot vacuum, my last recommendation is the Ecovacs DBOT X1 Omni. 
It is one of the most expensive robot vacuums I have compared in today's video, but it also has the best specifications in this segment with a 5000 PA suction power, 5200 mAh battery with a 3 litre disposable dust bag. It has not just an auto emptying dust bag, it also helps with auto filling the mop tank and emptying the dirty water from the mopping tank and also has auto cleaning and drying of the mop pad. Both the wet bins for the clean water and the dirty water are of 4 litre capacity the each. Ecovacs ideal for a couple of rounds of cleaning. It has all other essential specifications that are required in a robot vacuum. If you have the budget for it, this is the one I would highly recommend. If you like this video, you may want to watch this video next. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.